Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about product sorting and view products per page on sub page. So let's see how to make uh, working uh, this sorting and uh, product per page. All right, so switch to the project and now just open the sub component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, live wire. And from here, just open soft dash component dot dot php file. Inside this file, uh, let's find the sorting select control. So you can see here, this is the sorting select select control, and this is the product per page select control. All right. So first of all, let's create two properties inside the soft component class file. So just open the swap component class file. So go inside the app directory, then HTTP, LiveWire, and from here just open swap component.php file. Inside this file, uh, let's create two property. So inside this class, uh, just write here public and uh, property name. Property name is uh, let's say property name is sorting. So just write here dollar sorting and another property which is uh, page size dollar page size all right now let's bind this property to the select control so just open the swap component view file and uh, inside this uh, select control uh, let's bind the property so just write your wire Colon model is equal to sorting. All right, and uh, for winding the product for select control, just write here wire colon model is equal to page size. All right, this one page size. All right, now save this file. Now change the value of this default sorting. So just write here default. And uh, for this time, uh, just remove this uh, this option popularity and rating. Just remove these two options from here. Uh, we will use uh, this one: sort by newness, sort by price low to high, and sort by price high to low. All right. Now save this file. Now go to the soft component.php file and uh, here uh, let's create the mount lifecycle hook method. So after this property, just write here public function function name mount and inside this mount function uh, just write here dollar this arrow uh, this property name dot equal to and just add here the default value default all right and that the page size dollar this arrow page size is equal to add here the default value 12 all right now save this file now inside the render method uh, let's add here the statement dollar this arrow sorting all right this property name is equal to if sorting is equal to uh, this value date all right then execute this statement so just copy this line uh, cut from here and paste here and simply write here order by and inside the order by just add here the column name created created underscore add and just add here the order descending order Right and then 
call the pagination method and inside this pagination just add here this property that's page size all right so just remove this 12 and add here dollar this arrow page size okay just add here the else if statement else if and if dollar this arrow sorting is equal to this value price just copy and paste here and inside the else part just copy this line and paste here and just add here order by regular price regular underscore price and order ascending fc all right one more else if else if dollar this arrow sorting is equal to this one price dash descending all right now just copy this and paste here now change the order descending so just write here G E F C and inside the else part and just copy this line and paste here and from here just remove this order line all right okay now save this file Now it's done, so let's check this. So switch to the browser and just click on shop link. All right, and now first of all, let's check the number of products per page. So you can see here this is the product per page select control. So uh, the default value is 12. All right, you can see here that you have 12 number of records. 1 to 12 in per page and now change the number of uh, records per page so i'm just going to select this one 16 records per page and all right this is not working okay Do one thing so just go inside the project and uh, uh, just open the layout file so just go inside the resources directory views layouts and from here just open blade.php file all right and inside this file uh, go to the bottom and here you can see chosen.jquery.mean.js okay this line just select this and comment this all right now save this file now let's check again so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now change the page uh, number of records per page uh, let's select 16 and uh, here you can see 1 to 16 records all right and if i select number of records per page 21 you can see here the number of records per page 1 to 21 all right now let's check the sorting so you can see here this is the sorting uh, select control i'm just going to select this one uh, sort by newness so just click on this and you can see here products are uh, sorted by creation date all right and uh, if i if i select this one sort by price low to high you can see here this is the lowest price and you can see here the price are increasing all right price uh, props are ordered in low to high all right and if i select this one uh, sort by price high to low you can see here this is the highest price and you can see here the price are decreasing 
all right so in this way you can make product sorting and uh, products per page working on soft page so that's all about product sorting and products per page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching